faces Hockey stick faces Pictures, fragments, curtains in the breeze, hay rides, holidays, moods and memories, depot, kitchen, hammock, puppy, ribbon, catcher's mitt, braces, hidden. Haunting, half remembered places and faces, faces, faces. I just love Stockbridge. I mean, Stockbridge is uh, the best of America, uh, the best of New England. The people are wonderful. And unless people live in the closet and don't come out, I know everybody in Stockbridge, I think, you know. And my wife goes up and gets the mail every morning. And she meets so-and-so and she tells me all the news. And it's a beautiful town. Uh, I'm 78 and she's three years younger than I am, I guess I can say that. <laughs> and we, we ride bicycles every day. And we ride four and seven-tenths miles. I like to ride because I, I think it's, you know, they say about a baseball player, uh, when he gets old, he gets old in his legs, you know. And I feel that if I ride every day, God knows I'm getting old in my legs, but not as old as if I didn't ride. We go uh, up to Main Street, and uh, we see our friends. I use all uh, my neighbors as models, boys, girls. There's almost nobody in town I haven't painted. Lately, I used a retired admiral who lives down the street. And I was a little afraid to call him up, but he was delighted he came up. And he posed, and uh, that was a salute to your flag, and he knew how to salute, you know? <laughs> Every once in a while, uh, somebody says that I'm a historian of a better period in America. It was a good period, but I'm not a historian. I just painted the things I saw around me. Base here. The Eagle has landed. I'm going to step off the land now. 
That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Alabama, 29 votes. Mr. Chairman. I'm asking each of you to be pioneers towards that new frontier. My call is to the young in heart, regardless of age, to the stout in spirit, regardless of party, to all who respond to the scriptural call, be strong and of good courage, be not afraid, neither be dismayed. You make me wanna Freedom of speech and expression everywhere in the world. The second is freedom of every person to worship God in his own way everywhere in the world. The third is freedom from want. The fourth is freedom from fear. sitting on 120th Street and Amsterdam Avenue. I remember when I was a kid in Mamaroneck, we weren't poor, we were just, we were unbelievably middle class, just exactly in the middle. We were pretty simple souls, I think, you know. 
And uh, if I go to heaven and they ask me how many times I went to church, I'll beat them all because, boy, I used to have to go to rehearsal three times a week. We didn't have much money and we didn't have an automobile. And we'd walk up to Amsterdam Avenue and get an open trolley and put the cushions down and take a ride up to Van Cortland Park. Gee, where? Boy, another world, you know. My father, every night, used to read out loud to us. And we had an upstairs living room, and he read Dickens. And I think that had an awful lot to do with me, because Dickens wrote about the kind of people I paint. across the street and uh, and my friends we had to make our own entertainment but if you played baseball you played out in the back lot you know you played one a cat or you know that was a baseball game <laughs> I was never good at athletics. My brother was extremely good at athletics, but I wasn't. Oh, that was the big thing, to go to the circus every spring, see the clowns and acrobats and everything like that. I lived up in Vermont. I used to go to the circus up in Rutland. And uh, I haven't gone to the circus lately, but, <laughs> but I used to adore it. Yeah, it isn't too real. for two years, and then I was a dropout. I had the feeling that at that time, I think everybody felt that it was, uh, it was up to you, those boundless opportunities. Nobody's going to stop you from being a, a success, you know? Down to Gibson because uh, he belonged to the 400 and that's what he drew. 
the Gibson girl, they were always, uh, you know, very gorgeous looking creatures. He drew that, that side of American life. Another artist I admired was Joe Leindecker. I admired him so much I used to uh, imitate his walk. At least I could imitate his walk. I pigeon-toed, and, and he was. <laughs> you know, he did the big Saturday Evening Post covers. See, he always did the little new baby at Christmas and New Year's. Or else he would have some handsome full of poles with a narrow collar. Try for the Saturday Evening Post. And I said, me? Try for the Saturday Evening Post? Because it was king then. It had no rival. And then I went down there. I took down two covers and some sketches, and they took all of them. And from then on, well, I was uh, their man. Some people call it the age of belief uh, that used to be. Now everything's in a tangle. I mean, uh, 
We've lost a lot of our beliefs. Uh, you know, there's uh, race questions and political questions and corruption and everything else. God knows I hope we're coming out of it, but uh, I, I think America is, um, I don't know, I think it's almost imperishable. I mean, now the youth is interested, and I think, because they still have their ideals, you know, Lord knows that there's so many hippies around. I've painted the hippies, and uh, you know, underneath their uh, flower arrangements, <laughs> they're just the same people, <laughs> you know. I, I have a great hope that out of them may come uh, some a man or a group of men that will give this country a new life. I don't think I have an instinct to paint uh, people with ugly ideas. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to paint the evil-looking people. I just wanted people to be... Uh, I enjoyed humor and, and uh, good-natured uh, sort of subjects, and, uh, and, uh, and I wanted life to be like that, so for some reason or other, I just painted the way I would like life to be, you know. Farmhouse, snowplow, meadow, tractor, juniper, faces. Window, lantern, Streetcar, bobsled, drugstore, hockey stick, faces. Pictures, fragments, curtains in the breeze, hay rides, holidays, moods and memories, depot, kitchen. Hammock, puppy, ribbon, catcher's mitt, braces, hidden, haunting, half remembered places, and faces, faces. Faces.